Hey guys, uh, I just want to do a really quick video here. Um, something I've been looking at for uh, web design stuff is uh, a IDE called Brackets, and uh, I'm just going to try and use that inside Unity to see whether it uh, it works as like a lightweight editor. Uh, my Visual Studio free year license um, expired yesterday, so I've got like a 90 day trial, which will probably see me through most of the work for Alpha One, but yeah. So, what I've done is in browse, I've gone to here, bracket, bracket CXE, and added that. Didn't, not quite sure what that's all about. Anyway, let's try opening something. So, this opens. Uh, cool. Uh, no. I don't want that. Wow, that's a really pale thing. Uh, right, so uh, edit preferences. So this was, um, I can't remember what it was, Adobe Encode or something like that? I can't remember what it was called. Uh, it was an Adobe product and it's now a, uh, like an open source IDE for web design. And the idea is it kind of links up CSS and HTML and everything together. File, preference. I'm looking for preferences. Project settings, edit, view, themes. Dark, please. That's better. I don't know if anyone hates this, but oh well. I, I can see it, which is the important bit. Um, Well, it doesn't seem to be code aware. Uh, it does know that it's C sharp. Hmm. So this this might not be a, a great tool to use if it doesn't have code completion. There's a C sharp editor here. Let me just get that. I can't move it. <sighs> wow. There we go. <laughs> How weird is that? Uh, C sharp. Ah! Ah! Stuff closing. Why does enter close the window? That seems like a, a poor design choice for a key press. For like a hot key there. Um, anyway, I, d I don't think this is going to work very well. Uh, C sharp. Get help when developing C sharp apps. What does it do? If you want to download this, it's brackets to IO. Okay, so maybe we need to install this OmniSharp thing. It's OmniSharp and OmniSharp brackets. Both are made by this guy. This one's the latest version. Let's install that one. That was suspiciously quick. Oh, I've got a little green tick down here now. I don't know what that means. So, uh, maybe I have to reload it. Restart the IDE, uh, don't save. It might just be that I have to go back to using um, uh, like mono develop, it's not a big deal. Uh, 
Well, she doesn't seem to have any awareness as to... So it doesn't even seem to work like um, Notepad++, which basically just tries to autocomplete words that it's already seen. It doesn't understand the code, but... Um, hmm... Okay, so well, that didn't really work, um, but yeah, brackets.io is where you can download it. Looks like a fairly. I've not really used it for any web design stuff, but it looks like a fairly good text editor for for editing stuff. And I guess you could use it in a, an emergency if you didn't or couldn't use Mono Develop. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you with some more videos later on. Awesome. Bye, guys.